Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel and we got another recap for you guys. Ready to Love Season 5 Episode 10, True Colors. And there were two couples that had somewhat of a connection sent home. So we got to unpack all of the drama that happened in this episode. But before we do this, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications. If you like the video, smash the like button and also feel free to drop a comment down in the comment section below. So we're not going to waste any more time with this preliminaries. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So between eliminations and people feeling the need to uh remove themselves from this process in this episode we had to get ready to say goodbye to multiple cast members so as of right now uh we see with walter and sabrina look like they can make it to the end but whether or not they go the distance beyond the show is still up in the air now sabrina being a dancer for 10 years is still kind of getting up under his skin and while you know she explains it was due to what she was going through at 18 after being bullied and stuff going on at home you can still kind of tell that he is still feeling a little bit off about it and you know sabrina definitely acknowledges it and you know after all you know walter is good in person but sucks when it comes to communicating in any other method plus as much as she wants this, you know, she she's definitely recognizing that he may not at the same level. So let's talk about Dante. He and Aisha is in a good place. And, um, you know, it seems that the trip have kind of shifted things to now they're set as this couple. And speaking of that trip, it seems that Mumin is feeling that Walter dissed her in favor of Sabrina. Now, she is definitely all in when it comes to Frank, and he's definitely enjoying her and, you know, creating special moments with her. But while, you know, he is her undisputed pick, Frank got options. Now, speaking of options, the man who formerly had the most finds himself now dealing with just Shiloh and Sydney. Now, with Shiloh, there is no competition as she has come to a part in this process where she is willing to lock it down. But first, Phil is kind of swaying a bit. Now, but with Sydney, he does open up about his mom and presents to her the kind of vulnerability which makes it clear that Phil is, Phil is definitely nowhere near a decision especially since Shiloh challenges him emotionally in ways that seem to not lend his person to naturally open up. And also, I just want to take a minute and talk about Sydney for a little bit because I know I've been seeing the crazy assumptions in regards to whether Sydney was, I guess, born a woman versus her being a man. Um, people, she is 110% woman. And I want to send a shout out to one of the young ladies in the Facebook groups who posted, and this wasn't because, you know, uh, Sydney heard what people were saying about her. I guess some of the other fans didn't like what was going on. And so, of course, they went and they found some of her baby pictures with her as a child, as a little girl, and also with her mom. She looked just like her mom. But folks, we got to stop this. I mean, really. I mean, we don't know these people, you know. And to assume that this woman was a man because maybe she moves differently or she talks differently or maybe she looked different than what your expectation is doesn't necessarily mean that your expectations or what you think of someone is who they actually are. So I just want to bring that up because that happens a lot when we do these re reality TV show recaps is that some folks have some things and over here we are objective. You know, we want to keep things as um, Denise said from season three, keeping it cute. So, you know, I just want to mention that. And I know some people was really apologizing on that thread because they was like, oh, my God, I thought she was a man. That was horrible for me to think that way. Absolutely. You don't know this person. So I just wanted to put that there and clear that up because I know that's been swarming around. So she is definitely, you know, uh, a beautiful woman. So 
Okay, so moving on, let's talk about these eliminations. So, spilling over from the previous episode, there was an elimination by the women where Cornelius is the one that was eliminated. And so, with that being said, Camille goes right with him since she has zero interest in any of the guys. And uh, the feeling is mutual. So, they are officially gone. I know some people wasn't happy about that particular couple. But, you guys, did you see what they posted on IG? And, you know, I got to share this stuff with you. Um, Right after the episode aired and they knew they were going to be eliminated. Those pictures was hot. But, we'll definitely see what happens with these two at the reunion. So, I'm looking forward to that. And then, there was the elimination in this episode where Zadia is eliminated due to lacking connections and she put her hands on Dante due to her feeling uh quote-unquote mishandled when it comes to learning about him and Aisha and let's talk about that for a minute um and I will say that it's it wasn't a good look um and the fact that they actually recorded that and let that happen was one thing because if the roles were reversed i think everybody would have been up in arms so you know me i i see both sides if you know it's not a good thing if he put lay hands on her definitely it's not so definite that you as a woman shouldn't be putting hands on a man either and even if it's just tapping him in his nose, you don't touch, you don't put your hands on nobody. Now, I will say that there was a live. I posted it on my channel last night, so go check it out. But Zadia did say she did come back and she did alter the utmost apologies and regret and what she had to say. And she talks about it in this live that she did alongside Shiloh and also with Camille but um, go over there and check that out because she did have some things to say in regards to that Um, again I posted that video on my channel last night because obviously since they're now eliminated they wanted to get out and get a chance to talk live with the fans so I'm glad that she did take the necessary steps of course to do what she needed to do um, to, you know, make amends, apologize for what, you know, that altercation was because she had walked away and then she came all the way back. And, you know, even in this video, she even said, and she goes on a little bit more, but one of the things she said, she said she should have just kept walking and never, you know, turned around and came back, which is true. So I'm, I'm glad that, you know, she do see the, you know, the, you know, the wrongs that she had in that situation, but she did, you know, went, go back and apologize to Dante for all of that. So that's good to hear. But again, nobody should be putting their hands on nobody. Now, following her out the door, since they also have no other connections, is Naeem. And he decided to have a sit down with Tommy about self-eliminating. And he decides that it's, you know, for the best. So, I mean, he had a connection with Zadia. And because now that she's gone, you know, he figured, you know what, I'm out now. Now, one of the questions did come up in that live on whether or not Zadia and Naeem continued something outside the show. Because remember, the show ended filming six months ago. They ended filming back in the summer. So a lot of things obviously has happened Um, Again, we got the reunion coming up as well. We haven't even ended this season yet. So we still got a little bit ways to go to find out what happened with folks. But I know that question came up a lot in that IG live that she did with um, Camille and Shiloh. So the question that remains is who else is up for elimination? Well, could that be Mumin? Because, okay, Frank does have some, some connection with her. But if he lost her, it would mean just doubling down with Sydney. And we already know that Mumin is losing Walter just from the last episode, you know, unless he decides to meet up with her and try to hash out those past issues. Um, and then with Mumin, she's kind of stuck in how she's felt, you know, I mean, Maybe her ego got kind of bruised when she realized she couldn't just interrupt the personal time Walter was having with Sabrina. 
But with giving another chance to stay in this process, it is definitely full, uh, full speed ahead if it's Frank she wants to go after. So hopefully when it comes to Sydney, though, because Sydney's is still on Frank's radar as well. When it comes to Sydney, hopefully there's no kind of drama that's created, you know, kind of like what we saw before with the other girls that had already left. Just, let's just do an overhaul on this particular thing. So, as you guys probably remember with the first season, cast members, and even seasons after that, cast members have tried to just stick it out and only have found out it was a waste of their time. So, it's definitely very interesting, and I would say good to say, you know, good to see people like Camille and Naeem eliminate themselves because, you know, it reminds you that while this is a dating show or competition, the only prize is truly potentially finding true love, or supposedly. So this makes it so that there's no reason to pursue or step up when you learn that you don't have any options left. And what I would hope for in the future seasons that, you know, more can realize that they can leave on their own terms rather than wait to be pushed out. And if not, it's shown by Zadi will be so affected by the process that it make you kind of get out of character. Now, let's talk about the behaviors. Now, dating in itself is an emotional experience. And because of that, you know, people make mistakes. Now, some people say the wrong things, but others do the wrong things. And of course, unfortunately for Zadia, that all was caught on camera. Now, we do have to acknowledge that, you know, as shown in the past, being caught off guard during deliberations and knowing a camera is on you can, you know, this show can seriously kind of mess with people's minds. So, you know, of course, there's no excuses there. But at the very least, Zadia owned up to her taking things too far. You know, she may not admit her jealousy or even if what we saw was insecurity, but at least she acknowledged that putting her hands on Dante, even if it was just aggressively poking his nose, was definitely wrong. Now, I guess my thing is, you know, while we kind of have a better set of finalists, maybe, than maybe before, I don't think we're going to see our first marriage out of this show. I mean, Sabrina and Walter are cool right now, but I think that, you know, that's mainly because of the show. And as Sabrina noted, none of the guys took the initiative with her. And I'm wondering if that's going to change with Walter. Now, about the rest of them, uh, even though Frank and Sydney are cute, or, or, you know, they're cute together, I guess, you know, it looks like, or, you know, and I could be totally wrong, but from the what we're seeing and what's being portrayed, you know, it's making it look like Sydney is just enjoying the dating process. And while she definitely blends well with Frank, uh, is it possible that later down the road they could fizzle out and just become platonic friends? Um, Phil, I think like Sydney, you know, and getting to date her and him having as many people's attention is something that, you know, he enjoys. But even with him opening up and being vulnerable, there is this vibe, I guess, that, you know, he needs a solid foundation, like a blown up friendship before he commits. And that might be an issue for some people. So when it comes to his final choice, it's going to be based on the show timeline rather than his, which could definitely kind of set him up to fall or failure. Which now leaves Aisha and Dante. Now, honestly, they are so new that, you know, we don't know as fans what to even feel about that. Now, most of their relationship has existed on phone calls off camera, which I guess could have been a, a huge benefit for them because, you know, the world didn't really get to see, you know, everything that they talked about. Now, there's nothing, no pressure for them to perform. So maybe they have the most natural relationship of them all. And, you know, it's hard to say. So, you know, we can't say that they are the end game or not. But they might be the most stable since neither have notable options besides each other. And I mean, like Sabrina, Aisha isn't about having any more kids. 
So I can't see Phil after his confession with Sydney being able to, you know, really accept that. Now, I got some questions before we end the show, and maybe you guys have thought about this too. When it came to Zadia, why didn't somebody that she had a connection with eliminate her? Because it's interesting how they have these random people take them on this date, and these people thinking they're going on a new date with somebody when it's only an elimination process. Shouldn't it have been somebody she had a connection with to handle that elimination? And then um, the other thing is at the reunion special, I want to know if Camille and Cornelius are still together in any capacity. And I did show earlier they did a little video shoot together. So I don't know. We'll see. They released those pictures yesterday. Today is Sunday. Uh, on Friday after the show aired. And, you know, with so many uh, eliminations in this particular episode and things swimming, swinging, you know, back to the women, will the bottom two be Walter and Dante? They only have one connection compared to Phil, who has Sydney, Shiloh, and maybe still Aisha. Then Frank with Mumin and Sydney, you know. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. I, um... I just I, I just really think they need to go back and revamp the process on this thing because if you at what point do you stop circular dating and you find your connection you build upon that without being eliminated because if you lock down in one couple but because other people who has a judge scenario where they get to choose who's eliminated and if they don't have a connection with you because you're off in a coupling why eliminate that person if they made a couple with somebody else and they've taken themselves out the market and it's not like it's the beginning of the season we're getting toward the end of the season you shouldn't have all these multiple connections somebody needs to be making up their mind and it shouldn't be at the end so I mean, that's just my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Sign off in the comments. Thank you again for watching the videos and supporting the channel. And also, too, let me know if there's anything you want me to do a, a commentary or recap on. Uh, I'll leave my email address in the um in the not the comment section in the description area and then you can send say hey you know can, did you check this out can you recap this can you do that fine i'm open to hearing what you guys want to talk about so until the next video like comment and subscribe and we will see you soon